In 1980, when I graduated from the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, I won a Ware Traveling Scholarship, largely, I think, because of this painting of my beautiful wife, Nancy. The Ware Traveling Scholarship gave me money to spend the summer in Europe and study the great art over there. For the next several years, I painted and showed my work regularly. But in 2007, the technology to make digital films became very affordable. Also, YouTube gave the little guy a free platform to broadcast his efforts to the world. I switched from painting to filmmaking and have been making movies, mostly about artists, ever since. In 2009, I made a film about the Academy's annual show and really loved the work of that year's Ware Traveling Scholarship winner, a guy named Ben Passione. I tried to find him that night, but never could. I did track down his mother. You're the mother of the guy who just won the Ware Scholarship? Yes. I won that in 1980, and I've been looking for it to sort of... Really? Yeah. It's, it's such a great thing. He's going to have a fun time. Well, that's so nice. It's so nice to hear. I, his work is beautiful. Thank you very much. A couple weeks ago, I finally caught up to Ben at the Gross McLeaf Gallery, where he was showing some new work. What's your name, sir? Um, it's Ben Passio. Did you do these artworks? Yes, I did. Are you an artist? Yes. And he was accompanied by a very personable young art lover. Can you show me the dinosaur? Just point to him. Wow. That's the dinosaur. <laughs> Can you tell me about your show? You have both paintings and collages? It's oil on canvas, and mixed media works on paper, collage with acrylic, and sewn in embroidery. I use the 50% matte medium with 50% water to do the collage. What kind of paper is it? Magazine paper, arts and crafts paper, anything I can get a hold of. And these hold up pretty well? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Who's this little guy? This is my son, Maurice. Maurice. He's, okay. he's three. Can I ask Maurice about your art? Yeah, sure. Is your dad an artist? Um, no. He's not? Uh-uh. Is your dad an artist? Yeah. But you just said he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he do those artworks? Yeah. Is, are they good? Yeah. What do you like about them? Um, I like the paintings because there's holes. There are holes. Tell me about your kind of art that your dad does. Um, because the wall also be, be, put his shoes on and Tyler doesn't do it. He puts his shoes in his art? Yeah. Why would he do something that silly? Because he wants to put his glasses in his nose. He puts his glasses in his nose or on his nose? On his nose. And are there salt on those pretzels? Yeah. I didn't taste any. Well, I did. You did? Mm hmm Was it good? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm That little back and forth Maurice and I had it was a result of Sharon Ewing inadvertently buying low-sodium pretzels for the opening. Max's taste buds, unlike mine, have not had six decades to degrade, so they still tasted pretty good to him. But I didn't like him at all. I remember seeing your work back when you were graduating from the Academy. This is a little bit different, but kind of an extension of some of the same ideas. Yes, very small changes add up. You may wonder why a movie about a terrific artist uses a three-year-old as its chief art critic and spends time complaining about the salinity of the gallery's snacks. Well, I told Ben's mom the truth about myself back in 2009. 
Thank you very much. Huh? And what do you do now? I make movies. Really? Well, okay. goofy movies, but... <laughs> So sorry, Ben, if this movie is a bit goofy, but I look forward to seeing how your wonderful work continues to evolve, small changes or otherwise. And I wish the very best for you and Maurice as time goes by.